Welcome to Euro Channel. Today I'm going to talk about the heavy stuff and this is chronic abacterial prostatitis. And chronic abacterial prostatitis is not only a pain in the... But we're talking despair here. And the question is, is this... Shockwave therapy the new game changer? So before we start, if you like my urology channel, please subscribe to it, give me thumbs up. And today we're going to talk about prostatitis, more specifically about chronic abacterial prostatitis. And this is a very complicated disease to diagnose because it's a diagnosis of exclusion. And chronic abacterial prostatitis is characterized by the absence of bacteria or any other explanation why there is this pain, uh, this um, discomfort in the area of the prostate, in the area of the small pelvis. And if you're looking at the guidelines, I have a copy of the EAU guidelines here. Um, this section is all about pelvic pain. So it's quite a lot that has been written about pelvic pain, considering that this is more or less all of urology. And the problem is, Nobody really knows what lies behind chronic pelvic pain. And I see some similarities between men with chronic abacterial prostatitis and women, believe it or not, with chronic cystitis. So sometimes I have patients, male and female, who come to me and tell me the same story identically. Only in men we say, okay, it's a chronic abacterial prostatitis. And in women, we say it's a chronic cystitis because women, they don't have a prostate. So is there any other explanation? And in my mind, the pelvic floor is being disregarded all too often. So what is the pelvic floor? I'm going to link up a short video I made about this topic. There are different muscle layers which connect the bony parts of the pelvis. And these layers, they contain the organs of the small pelvis. Now, when we look at the pelvic floor, the pelvic floor can be tight. And we know this from the sayings like uh, keep a stiff upper lip and um, hold yourself straight whenever we feel some discomfort, whenever we have problems. Um, then we try to counteract this by doing something with our muscles and to make them tight. And the same thing can happen in the pelvic floor. So if we tighten up our pelvic floor, even though we are not aware of this, then, on the long run, we can develop pain. And I sometimes see this in my patients who report to me that at night they are doing pretty well. In the daytime, well, it starts in the morning, but when they get up, it's kind of okay. And then the pain rises. Um, sometimes they report to me that there are certain positions that they want to be in because it gives them some kind of relief, like um, kneeling down or, or, or having some lying positions which are comfortable to them. So these are all aspects that have a hint towards a pelvic floor dysfunction. And these myofascial syndromes, which they are also called, they can cause all kinds of pain. And the pain mustn't necessarily take place in the area that you feel the pain, but the origin of the pain might be somewhere else. There's a classic that's like cardiac infarction, where does it hurt? It hurts in the left arm, normally not in the chest, can hurt in the chest too, but sometimes it hurts on the left arm, so there's no heart in my left arm. And it's the same in the pelvic floor. So if you're um, having pain in your penis, pain in your ure urethra, pain somewhere, like someone is pressing a fist from upwards towards your, your legs, towards your anus, this is all something that's related to the pelvic floor. So what can we do about it? And if you're looking at the guidelines, lots of things have been written what you can do about it. But really, I think it's a very difficult topic. And ESWT might be a game changer. ESWT, the shockwave therapy, has been around for quite a while now. Like in urology, we're dealing with ESVT for about 10 years, mainly for erectile dysfunction. But lately, um, we discovered that it also may relieve pain in chronic abacterial prostatitis. How does the treatment work? I'm going to show you. 
Okay, let's go for the fun part. Men are usually horrified to get on this kind of roller coaster. But I can assure you, once you are positioned, it's quite comfortable. And for me as a doctor, it's very easy to reach the regions of interest. And the region of interest in chronic abacterial prostatitis is the perineum. And where's the perineum? The perineum lies under the scrotum. And this is the area where I easily can get access to the pelvic floor. And I will put the applicator on the perineum and I will shock the perineum with around 5000 shock waves on both sides, left and right. 5000 shock waves, does it hurt? Unfortunately, I have to say yes, but I'm trying to make it as comfortable as possible. Because I'm treating trigger points and trigger points are points in the musculature that are sore. And you will feel it, it, it hurts like needles and it will cause some pain. But I can assure you when we do this once a week after the second or third therapy, it will be much better because there will be pain relief. How does it work? Nobody really knows. Fact is, this applicator produces shock waves which are electromagnetic. There's some kind of membrane that explodes and sends out these shock waves in a focused fashion into the tissues and there's some kind of tissue rejuvenation. So there is blood vessels that form, there is a better nerve function and there are some stem cells that get activated and all this contributes to pain relief. So it works in, um, for example, uh, the Peyronie's disease where they have painful erections um, the pain is going away after three sessions, approximately three to four sessions. And I have some good experience now with chronic abacterial prostatitis in the sense that it's a myofascial pain syndrome. And before I diagnose that, I have to palpate the pelvic floor first, see that everything fits and that we have a proper diagnosis. And in these patients, I see some dramatic improvements. So I'm not saying I have the holy grail here, but in some patients I'm seeing some significant relief. So I hope this was some useful information for you and I would be very delighted if we see each other again next week on Saturday for my next video. Bye for now.